let's say that someone takes you to a dark room and they say hey if you place your arm in this shark tank I will give you five thousand dollars but you have to keep your arm there for five minutes there may be a chance that there are no sharks in that shark tank but would you do it of course not receiving that five thousand dollars may be really nice but that is too much of a risk okay what if a person brings a revolver and say hey place this revolver to your head and pull the trigger there may be a chance and let's say that if you do it that person is going to give you ten thousand dollars it may be a chance that there is there is no ammo in that weapon but would you do it of course not because it is too much of a risk okay you may be out there sinning you may be having sex before a marriage you may be cursing people out you may be sleeping with other people's wives and husbands you may be doing things that you know that are wrong but you are doing it anyways aren't you taking more of a risk than placing your arm in the shark tank or placing the revolver to your head yes we can die at any time tomorrow is not promised to us we can die at any time you may be in your teens in your 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s blah 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 you may believe that you may live to a certain age but tomorrow is not promised myself since I was a child to the age that I am in now or at now I could have been in many many car accidents within those car accidents there are some where if I would have been in them I would have died and many of those I was in sin so imagine me dying in sin I would have went to hell and some people may say that they don't care about going to hell I don't care about going to hell okay when you think of hell when some people think of hell they may think of fire demons perhaps so on and so on Hell is much more than demons and fire. There are a lot more torments in hell. For instance, let's say, let me move this right here. Imagine being skinned alive. Skinned alive. Somebody taking a knife, let me see, and just cutting your flesh off not really going too fast but just taking their time and cutting your flesh off not only on your arm but your face your neck your chest your shoulders your private parts your stomach yes your legs your toes everywhere imagine being scanned alive what if let's say that that is the only torment would you be able to handle that of course not many of us know about the medieval torments and we can say that those were pretty harsh torments there may be there are some torments out there that are not from the medieval age but they are pretty harsh as well there are torments that we don't know of so let's take all of those torments plus many more that are worse 
all in hell. But you are saying that you don't care about going to hell. You are, you may say that living on this earth is hell. So you may think about killing yourself. You may have attempted killing yourself. Even if a people are abusing you, doing very harsh things to you, that is not good. But if you kill yourself, worse things are going to happen for you. So let's say that you are having a very hard time in this world. Okay. But imagine if you kill yourself you are going to have a worse time. So you can say that you hate God and blah, 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 blah. You can talk all the trash that you want to while you are living. Once you die, there is no more repenting. That's it. You have to stay in hell. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So, you may want to have sex before marriage and steal and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you this story. It was this one woman. I took her back to the hotel room. And I am not going to get into details, you know, much details. But I was on top of her. And I was looking down at her face. Okay. I saw her face, right? Okay. For a quick second, I saw a demon's face over her face. <laughs> I don't know if you get that. I saw a demon's face, so I could not see her face anymore, but a demon's face. As real as you see this alarm clock. <laughs> as real as you see this iPod here. As real as you see this pen. As real as you see my gas receipt right here. As real as you see my face. In, in my fingers. And... This tape and stuff like that that is as real as I saw the demons face it was a woman demon okay she had very large yellow eyes I believe like very wide and they were kind of slanted as well so they were wide and slanted and you see how the corners of my mouth are, right? Hers was like this, like way over here. Evil, sinister smile. And I forget like what was on top of her head. I don't know if it was hair or horns. I don't know. I believe it was some type of hair. But, like, this demon was a beast. A beast. So, you can say that. So, <laughs> let me say this first. When I saw it, I jumped off of that girl quickly. I was like, whoa, you know. <laughs> it is funny now, but... It was not funny at the time. So I moved over to the other side of the bed. And, you know, the girl was asking me what was wrong and stuff like that. But I did not want to tell her because, you know, I didn't want her to think that, you know, something was wrong or crazy or something like that. So... You may be having sex before marriage. You may be sleeping with people who you are not married to. 
when you do that, you have to know that you are sleeping with demons. You are having sex with demons. So you are not having sex, you are not only having sex with that person, but with those demons as well. I don't know if that is making sense to you. You are sleeping with those demons as well. You are having sex with those demons. If a demon popped out of nowhere, would you have sex with it? Some sane people or most sane people would say no. Okay. But when you are having sex before marriage, that is what you are doing. Whatever you are doing to that girl or guy, you are doing to that demon. So all the perverted stuff that you are doing to that guy or woman, you are doing that to that demon. I don't know if that is getting into your head. All the crazy stuff, sexual stuff that you do to that guy or woman, you are doing to that demon. So you don't know what you are doing when you are having sex before marriage or having sex with someone's wife or husband. But it is fun, Kevin. When you disobey God, you have to deal with the punishment, the punishments and consequences. I believe that I get demonically attacked as much as I do now because of some of the things that I did in my past. I believe that. I could be wrong, but I believe that. And the closer you get with God too, the more demonic attacks, the more demonic attacks you are going to receive as well. So think about that. Really, really think about that. So repent of your sins now. And let me say this. The closer I get with God, because back when I was in so much sin, there were many questions that I had for God or I did not understand why so much bad things was happening to me. But the closer I get with God, the more answers I get about my past. Now I know why many of the bad things that was happen happening to me back then, I know why it was happening to me. Voluntary sin. Only if you could match up your sins with your punishments. Because some people believe that, hey, in life, bad things are just going to happen. That is somewhat true, but it has to do with how you live your life as well. Does that make any sense? So, I have been receiving answers about my past. So the things that I thought that was fun, it truly was not fun. It was not. What if a person says to you, hey, you can take all the money that you want in this bank, but if you do that, I get to shoot you in your arm once a day. Now, <laughs> receiving all the money you want from a bank sounds like an awesome deal, right? Like, hey, <laughs> I am about that. <laughs> Give me that. But getting shot in the arm each day? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want that. Well, isn't... Isn't it the same thing when you sin? Yes, you can have sex and do all of those 
perverted things and steal and smoke weed and get drunk. Yes, you can do those things, but you are not seeing the aftermath or the punishments. What if you start connecting what you do with the bad things that are happening to you in your life? What if you connect them? Would you still do it? Would it still be worth it? No. What if you saw the result of having sex before marriage? Then you saw, okay, let's say that you have this chart here. <laughs> let's say that you have this chart here and right here says the sins like you were smoking weed, you were getting drunk, you were popping pills, you were doing this and this and that and that. And then right across from it, well, since you were cursing a person out, this, punish this punishment happened to you. Well, since you were stealing, this punishment happened to you. Since you was doing something something, this punishment happened to you. If you could see it all on paper, would you still do it? No. No. But you have to know whether you see it on paper or not. Whether you see it on paper or not, it is happening. Does that make any sense? I am really trying to break this thing down. <laughs> because I really want you to understand. What if? What if your sins and the punishments that you are receiving for that sin? Sin, punishment. Sin, punishment. Sin, punishment. What if you had it down on paper? Would you do it? Would you do it? Of course not. So why are you doing it now? Because many times we do things in ignorance. Because we are silly. That's the truth. So I really hope you learned something from this. This shows you how foolish sin really is because you believe that you are having fun, but in truth, you are not having fun. You are not. Okay. God bless.